Hey, it's around here. Wanted to do a quick tour of Kajabi so you can see the inside. This video will be relatively quick just so you can kind of see. I sign up for a free trial just to get the hang of it. Uh, it is a great platform, easy to use, uh, really easy to customize and everything. So this is what's called a pipeline. And I just wanted to show you that because that's just a great feature where they, uh, as soon as you create the pipeline, this is a product launch pipeline. Um, as you can see, you can rename it or whatever. It automatically gives you the opt-in page so you can kind of see it's already kind of created. It's got the different uh, videos, the three um, video, you know, um, launch steps. And it already created your email templates as well, which I thought was just a great feature. Even though I'm not a big fan of templates, I don't do use templates myself. I don't, that's not something that I, I enjoy. I like to do my own copywriting. I like to create it in my own, my own words. Uh, but you know, for some people, this just is a massive time saver and it just helps, you know, so here's an example. So you see if the email, it gets sent immediately, you click it and it actually shows you, uh, what to write basically. So it says he, the contact is already here. All you gotta do is tweak a few things, change a few letters, change a few sentences, whatever, but it's already all here. Okay. Now, if you were to click it again and you were to set it up um yourself let's say yeah, email number see it's got email number 12 so it's day e 10 emails for 18 days which is a great follow-up sequence really really great follow-up sequence so you know i know some people are just not as tech savvy or they don't know how to say this is this is definitely a big time saver so this is really great again i do not recommend my clients to use templates because then you just look like another you know, like cookie cutter i like to be authentic i like to use my own my own language but for some people, this will be a fantastic uh, little um, tool, basically. So pipelines is basically their version of funnels. Instead of calling it funnels, they call it pipelines because obviously they don't want to push. I guess they that they they created their own terminology instead of uh, calling it funnels. Um, you've got other pipelines called Zoom Webinar, um, and then they've got a few other templates. I'll just show you the templates they have. So you got sales page template, a freebie template. Uh, free book, coaching campaign, and simple sales page, and then a blank one so you can create your own. They also have legacy pipelines as well, obviously. Oh, uh, no, they don't. That's just some. They do? Hang on, let me just check. Oh, yeah, they do. Promotional offer, free report, webinar. Okay, so they do have other, other pipelines as well, virtual summit. So that's, that's great. They've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, email campaigns, it's all in-house as well. So that's really handy. Um, you can create your email sequences and so on. So if you can create a new email campaign, you can choose a broadcast or an email sequence, um, call it uh, sequence. Continue. And then you can see it's pretty easy to customize, easy to use, um, you know, uh, great stuff. Okay. Then you've got the automations as well and events. So you can choose the different events you've got going. You can create specific forms to just collect emails if you want to just use lead magnets as well, creating a new form. Now, their whole um, setup is really good. Like, it's super easy to use. I've created a few products here. I've created one community, and then I'm just going to show you the feature on creating a course, uh, the different products they have. So here, they've got a mini course, an online course, evergreen training, community, coaching program. They've got different options, which is really good. Um, so let's just say we want to set up an online course. Click on save. Now you can only create three courses or three products when you set this up. Okay. So when you're on the 149 plan, if you're on 199 plan, you can set up 15 products. And if you need more than 15 products, you can, you need to pay for the 399 plan. I think it is. So you can see the course is right here. Okay, so here you can add um, different things. You can obviously uh, put a price to it. Okay, um, add, add more action. You can make an announcement, view progress, added details of the course, course outline, and so on. Okay, so that's all really easy to use. Um, okay, so here you can obviously click, it gives you tips on how to create a course, right? So if you click this, you can add a post or add a subcategory, testing this, 
Let's do that. And then when you click it, you'll be able to edit it. Okay, so you'll be able to add a video or make it an assessment, give an automate, create an automation. So the automation is created. Let me just see what that does. Okay, so when this is completed, you can, okay, subscribe or register to an event or add a tag or send an email. So you can add all your customization. It's all in, all in one platform, which is really good, right? Yeah, see, this is excellent stuff. Really excellent stuff. Really impressive, to be honest. You can add digital downloads as well. So this is great. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So that's the online course. Um, now on their website, they make it really easy to use as well. So let me just show that to you. So on their homepage, let's just, you've got the different types of pages. Let's just pretend this is the homepage. So we'll click on customize and then it will take you to, to their, their homepage to edit it. And I'll show you all the different features that they have. So. You set it up in, in blocks. They, there's basically different blocks that you can move around and change them in sequence. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here on the right, you can look at tablet view, uh, mobile and desktop. Sorry for the delay here. Okay, so you can see this is really easy to use. So if I want to move different section and move the sequence, I can just move them from one place to another. So that, that's really good. Now I've added a whole bunch of different options and I'll show you the different uh, things that you can actually add. Let me just scroll down. Okay, so add section. Now Podia has exactly the same thing, but you can see here, there is actually a lot of options, video embed, um, the next one, next one next to it is called video, text, text and image, testimonial, spacer, showcase, slideshow, pricing, opt-in bar, offers, opt-in form, image, image gallery, hero, uh, heading, features, and all that. So there's a lot, a lot of options. Countdown timers, this is great. Like there's no countdown timer in Podia, for example. There's no Facebook comments in Podia, as an example. Um, there is no pricing options button in Podia either, I don't think. No, I don't think that they do. By pricing options, it means like this, right? So this is really good. Now let's just say that we want to edit it. It immediately takes me to the space here and I can change it. So I can say what the different pricing includes, change the URL, make it so it's a new, open a new window, make it uh, outline or solid or whatever I want to do in terms of the style, right? change the button color. I can also have a time reveal, okay, like how long before this actually shows and so on. So there's a lot of options here and all you gotta do is click back and then it will take you to the next thing. Now, in terms of video embed, uh, this is another thing that Podia has, uh, it's the same video player. However, let me just show you one, one difference. So even though I've uploaded video on here, you can actually add a call to action. So I added a call to action that says, you know, click the link below or whatever, and I can add a URL, open in a new tab. And the other thing is that I don't have to do a URL. I can actually do a go to checkout page and then click the checkout page. I can also click, go to a landing page. I can click on download a file and then pick a file. So if I want to do any sort of uh, a lead magnet, for example, that also can be done. So this is just really good, okay? Um, I will say, for example, here, open two-step opt-in pop-up. So it will actually pop up to actually enter your details to get something. So this is just really, really good. And there is no option in Podia to create these types of videos. So I really enjoy that feature. This is really, really helpful. Uh, so that's one difference. Otherwise, the video player looks identical, okay? Uh, there's really no difference. Uh, but yeah, you can see these are all the options. Uh, so this is really good. And um, yeah, there you go. So anyway, I think that pretty much covers giving you a, a feel for for Podia, for um, Kajabi, sorry, and showing you what's possible. The other thing you got to realize is you're going to end up having um, Kajabi 
putting limits. So for example, you will see the Kajabi branding if you are on a certain plan, uh, even if you're paid with Podia, that's not necessarily the case. Um, obviously here you can add people, which is great. Um, this is like, a, you know, the different information you can upload, you can import up to $500 at a time. Okay. So you can upload people. You can also have affiliates. Um, so on the, on the Podia platform, for example, to have a membership or to have a affiliate program, you need to be on the $79 plan. Okay. So this is really good that they have the affiliate here as well. This, that's included. Now, in terms of the products, there is one other element which I think is really important to know. Um, in in uh, Kajabi, there is different types of products. So, for example, a community, you can actually have a Facebook-like community. Okay, so I'm just going to click it, and then you'll see it's basically the same as Facebook. So, I think it's a lot more basic, but you have that option, which is really good. Okay, whereas in Podia, you just don't have it. Uh, let's click on products again, and I'll show you the different types of products. With Podia, you have courses, membership, digital download. That's really the options. They've added a webinar option. That's still in beta at the moment. Uh, but here you've got, uh, you know, it's a little bit more coach-based and so on. So definitely a, a, a better structure to how they have it set up. Uh, so there you go. You can click on generate the coaching program, click on save, and let's see what that looks like. You could see when you're actually choosing a product, Kajabi has it built in to actually create it for you and it creates the product. So it's kind of basically already set up. So that's a very, very good uh, tool as well. For people who kind of get lost, you know, this is really good to have that set up. Um, yeah. So anyway, definitely. Uh, and, and once you click it, it's the same structure, the same everything. So that's really good. Now, um, it is obviously a few things that I, I probably have not explored. And there's probably a lot more features here. For example, site details, marketing settings, checkout settings, subscription cancellation, um, custom domain, mobile app settings, right? So there's a mobile app as well. Uh, I've not even looked into that really, uh, but you can actually set up a mobile app, which is really good. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so that's good. <clears throat> So there you go. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea on the different options. Uh, definitely much more comprehensive uh, Kajabi. They've got definitely much more features. Again, you just got to look at your numbers and see what makes sense for you financially, uh, because this is definitely a heavy investment. You're looking at uh, really, if you really want to make good use of it, I, I would not go with the 149 plan. It's really 199 a month. So this is definitely an expense. Uh, if it makes sense for you financially, in terms of your business, your pricing and all that, by all means, this is a great option. Otherwise, um, yeah, you could check out my video on Podia. Um, you could just, uh, I'll, I will leave the link in the description. You could check it out. And uh, whatever you choose, do it, whatever is right for you in your business. If you want to get a consultation from me on what's best for you, then I ha you could just go to my homepage of my website. And I've got a, a little invitation for a training about what it's like to work with me and so on, where I can teach you more about what it's required to really build an online business. And I can help you choose the right platform for you, help you sort of the technology and so on. So there you go. Thanks for your time. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.